Hi uh, everyone, uh, this is uh, Miss Linda. I hope you're doing uh, well. Today, inshallah, we're going to continue solving IB uh, past uh, paper exams, uh, topic uh, five, electricity and magnetism. Uh, today, we're going to solve question number 12 from the document I shared with you on Google Drive. And this document, this question is related to electricity. Uh, second part of the question, it's magnetism. So let's do the question first. Part one, it's about electrical circuit. The circuit shown is used to investigate how the power delivered by a cell varies with the load resistance R changes. So I have uh, changing uh, resistance or variable resistance or rheostat. It's connected with here a meter and electric cell and here we have voltmeter the variable resistor is adjusted and a series of current and voltage reading are taken we have a graph of power in watts volt versus uh, the variable resistance so each time we measure that we change the variable resistance and here this is the value of uh, power record dissipated power in the resistor resistor and power dissipated in cell. So we have two graph one for the power dissipated in the variable resistance and power dissipated in the cell. The cell may be damaged if it dissipates power greater than 1.2 watt. Outline why the damage in the cell may occur if the terminals of the cell are short circuit circuited. What is short? OK, so if you have uh, that's what he did he um, here we have we we have um, a cell and um, here i have a resistance uh, external resistance like uh, light bulb or any uh, external resistance and he he got a wire and he connect this wire up normally so what will happen the light the current uh, will choose the path that has the least resistance so if you have one path that is connected up normally like this one connected up normally the current will go here and it will not flow here so here i will have the resistance is zero i don't have voltage because the difference in voltage between these two uh, points these two nodes is zero they're equal they are equal voltage and i and i have a current here i have a value for the current this of course will damage the circuit after after a while i will this wire might get burned and i will damage also the cell the electric uh, cell so this is the short uh, circuit so short circuit here for uh, in this question r should equal to zero r equal to zero so we'll go here and read the value for r at R equals zero, the power dissipated in the resistors will be around 1.5 watt. And 1.5 watt is greater than 1.2 watt. That means that this power will damage the circuit. So this power will damage, will damage the circuit will damage the circuit. Now, second part um, of the question is about also electric, uh, uh, is about electric circuit and magnetic field, and magnetic field. Here you have the diagram shows an arrangement for measuring the force between two parallel section of the same rigid wire carrying a current as viewed from the front. The support the supports for the upper section of the wire and the power supply are not short, deduce what happened to the reading of the electronic balance when the current is switched off. Now remember we studied before, um, if we have two wires that carrying current, the current that passes passing through these wires, each current will 
produce magnetic field around it. So I will have a magnetic field that goes in a circuit around the first wire and magnetic field that goes in a circuit around the second wire. So magnetic field, if I use my right hand thumb in the same direction of the current, all the fingers will rotate to give me the direction of the magnetic field. So here, the magnetic field here, it will go into the page and here the magnetic field comes out of the page for this one into the page and here out of the page. So different directions, so I will have here attraction. So parallel current in the same direction, I will have attraction force. Opposite direction, if I'm going to use my right hand, the put the thumb in the same direction of the current, so the current going down, here the current, the magnetic field will go into the page and in this direction out of the page. Here the magnetic field will go into the page and here out of the page. You see same direction, that means I will have a repulsive force, repulsive force. How can I calculate the value of this repulsive force? You remember the formula Bell, like Graham Bell who invented the uh, phone, Bell. We use this formula. So the current exerted on wire one, F1, it will be because of the magnetic field two, one and one. Okay, so the question here, let's go back to the question. What will happen to the current sin since we'll have a repulsive force the current uh, are in opposite direction and the wires will repair, so the reading of the balance will be what will be increases. Increases. So here, let's write it here. We'll see the wires. Repelled and reading of the balance will increases. OK, um, D now. When the current in the wire is 0.2 amp, the magnetic field strength at the upper section of uh, the wire is 1.3, so here the current in the wire is 0.2 and the magnetic field in the upper section of the wire, the upper section, I'm going to call it this P2. Calculate the magnetic force per unit length on the upper section of the wire, on the upper section of the wire. So I need F divided by L on the upper section of the wire. Bell, remember always, F force, force, this is question mark. Okay, we don't know. So force, Bell, Graham Bell, Bell. Okay, so if I need force divided by L, divided by L, so F over L will be P times the current. P is B is 1.3 times 10 to the power negative 4 and the current 0.2. And this will give us 2.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 Newton per meter. Newton per meter. Okay. D. Each cubic meter of the wire contains approximately 8.5 times 10 to the number to uh, power 28. So here n is the number of the electrons per cubic meter. So n, I'm going to write the given first. 8.5 times 10 to the power 28 electrons, electrons per meter cube. Okay, it's important to write the units. The diameter of the wire is 2.5 millimeter from the diameter. I can find the radius. So the radius is the diameter divided by two. Diameter divided by two. 
2.5 millimeter milli times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by 2 it will give me 1.25 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter all the unit has to be consistent SI units length of the wire the length of the wire L is 0.15 meter using the force per unit length calculated in uh, the previous part, so previous part. So I have force per unit length, which we got 2.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 Newton per meter. From here, from this equation, I can find force cross multiplication. So F will be 2.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 times the length 0.15 and this will give us 3.9 times 10 to the power negative 6 newton okay to uh, deduce the speed of the electron in the wire so i need the velocity of the electron i need v i need the velocity v how much okay now don't forget b the magnetic field is 1.3 times 10 to the power negative 4 tesla oh, so here's the given we have all the given okay now what is the formula for the force force it's q charge times the velocity times the magnetic field. I have number of the electrons per unit volumes. So the total, the charge, the total charge is the number of the electron times the charge of one electrons. But I have the number of the electrons per unit volume. I have the unit here, it's meter cube. So I have to, to multiply by the volume in meter cube to get rid of this unit. So first I have to find the volume first, volume of the wire. How can I find the volume of the wire? Wire, it's like a cylinder. So the volume is always cross-sectional area times the length. Cross-sectional area, it's pi r squared, the area of the square times the length L. So this is the first step. I have to find the volume of the wire. So volume, here is solution, volume, volume of the wire, capital V will equal pi r square times L, and that will equal pi r square is 1.25 times 10, to the power negative three square times point fifteen, and this will give us seven point thirty six times ten to the power negative seven meter cube. Now total charge Q Q N times the charge of the electrons N number of electrons is 8.5 times 10 to the power 28 these electrons per meter cube times volume to get rid of meter cube here so volume 7.36 times 10 to the power negative 7 meter cube now we got we've got rid of the meter cube times 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 this is the charge of one electron in column so q will equal 1 times 10 to the power 4 column so here we have a q and here don't forget we have also F because we will need these values later on. I have here F, the value F. Now I can use now the formula. V, I can use now this formula to find V, uh, to find V, 
V, it will be F divided by Q times B, and Q is the total, total charge times B. So let's substitute it here. V will equal F divided by Q times B, and just substitute. So this will equal 3.9 times 10 to the power negative 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the power 4 times 1.3 times 10 to the power negative 4. And this will equal 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 meter per second. 10 to the power negative 6 this is micro. So this is 3 micro meter per second. Now, if we, the last question, the uh, upper section of the wire is adjusted to make an angle uh, 30 degree with an angle, definitely because we're going to use sine, the, the formula, the original formula, it's Q V B times sine the angle. Maximum when the, when, when the angle is 90 degree. If I have 30 degree, 30 degree, that means I will have reduced in the force. I will have reduced in, in a smaller magnetic field, a smaller force, and the reading of the balance will decrease. So the answer here, what will happen? Part of the wire will experience, part of the wire will ex experience a smaller magnetic field. Let's write it down. Parts of the wire well ex, um, experience well experience a smaller a smaller magnetic field b smaller magnetic field hence smaller magnetic force you have to explain what, what is B and what is F. I'm just writing this for uh, simplicity for me. So the reading of the balance will be what? Will be decreased. So the reading, the reading of the balance will decrease. Well, That's it. We'll continue with the other uh, questions.